Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the oil pressure sensor on the that will switch right there. It's about 20 bucks at local O'Reilly's AutoZone. And so it is on my 2006 Chevy Cobalt. You can't really see. It's in front of the engine. Can't really see where it's at. And the easiest way to access it is actually through the top if you have the right tool. And this tool, that socket right there. It's a special socket. You can't just use any socket. It has to be slightly longer so it can fit over it. It's a 1 16th. Anyways, so yeah, basically, basically you just have to unplug it, unplug the switch. Let's see if we can find it here. So, right there. Way down there, you can see that white spot that's right at the very top of the switch. So basically, you have to unplug it, just a little piece there you pull up and then pull it back. So, let's see if I can get to it. Just like that. So, it should be a plug just like that. You pull that off, and then right where that plug was is where where you will use the tool this tool right here and I just put a short about a two inch extension on it and you should be able to reach it fairly easy right like that you just need to put a ratchet on it and it comes right out so just like that you can see got the ratchet on it it's real easy, breaks loose pretty easy, and screw it right out. In fact, you can screw it out with your hand. Just like that, should look about like that. Mine's been leaking really bad, that's why I'm gonna replace it. The old one, here's the new one. And when you pull it out, if it's if the vehicle hasn't been run, more than likely it will be a little bit will dribble out. I was just running mine, so just ran my car, so it's fairly hot and it was coming out right away. So if I'm gonna be doing a oil change, so I don't really care that it came out, be replaced anyways. But it's one thing to think about if you take that out. So yeah, and then you just replace it. Put it right back, same, right where it came from, there. Just like that, you can tighten up with your hand, and then take this tool. Right back on there. And then just use the ratchet and tighten it up all the way. And then once you've got that tightened back up, literally all I have to do is plug that right back in. Right back into there. Just like that. That's yeah, taking a little bit, but anyways. Just like that, snap it in just like that, and then you're literally all done. See so you guys, thank, thanks for watching the video. Comment, like, subscribe, put your notification bell on so you don't Missed any of the uploads, and yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.